So as many of you guys know from a previous video I made, the YouTubers 8 Thoughts and The Quartering have been having some petty drama back and forth that resulted in 8 Thoughts uploading a video criticizing The Quartering, which ended up getting flagged down by presumably Quartering fans or some other group of people, but 8 Thoughts being a pretty big commentator who has criticized bigger creators in the past without any damage to his channel, assumed that his video on The Quartering got taken down, in particular, because the quartering flagged it himself. So he uploaded a video to his second channel, accusing the quartering of doing just that thing, to which the quartering quickly debunked when he showed his flag history on Twitter. But despite that debunking, Keemstar decided to comment on the situation by saying, Dear the quartering, I find it very hypocritical that you call me a deplatformer because we wanted to stop J Station when you are here flagging 8 Thoughts videos. I know you denied that you did, but Jeremy, you are fooling no one. You owe everyone an apology. Man up. The quartering responded by saying, Holy fuck, dude. I never flagged anything, proved it, and yet here you are, a news channel completely ignoring that. He then quote tweets Keem's comment and says, I literally proved I didn't. He admitted I didn't, and here you are days later spreading a lie. Great investigation skills, Keem. Caitlin responds to Keem by saying, Yeah, flag him good. To which quarter in quote tweets and says, Amaranth sliding in Keem's replies looking for more attention. Shocking. Quartering continues to comment on the situation by tweeting out, Hey friends, I don't have any evidence obviously, but I know for a fact Keemstar false flagged my channel. Would be a shame if he now had to spend days defending himself and still had fucking morons ignoring fact. Oh well, he did it. Trust me. Seriously, what the fuck is with this dude? The entire thing has been debunked for days, and he willingly spreads this lie. Classy newsman, Keemstar responds to Quartering's tweet by saying, You have like 15 YouTube channels. Please explain to me how showing one channel's flag history proves you are innocent? Livestream you logging into all your channels. The Quartering then replies, Keem, how about you fucking ask 8Thoughts for a goddamn shred of evidence? Nah, you are not interested in facts. Keem then replies, I don't believe you. A guy in a dress punched you, and you begged your fans for money to sue him. You simply can't be trusted. The quartering never replied directly to that tweet made by Keem, but he does continue to talk about the situation on Twitter by saying, Tried like hell to not clog up my YouTube channel with responding to unfounded lies, but thanks to the internet newsman Keemstar, I must. I think I'll pretty easily put this all to bed to anyone interested in actual truth. And it's sad I even have to do this, but the damage is being done. Dominic replies to the quartering by saying, It just seems like they don't like you. That's why they spread lies and don't care about facts. The quartering then quote tweets this and says, Yeah, it's pretty clear, lol, but imagine making up and perpetuating a career damaging lie about someone just because you don't like them. Wait a minute, was I just me too? The quartering replies to Keemstar's comment about having to show the flag history of his multiple YouTube channels by saying, Make some founded accusation, then demands I disprove it. Keem, when did you stop beating your girlfriend? Rabbit then responds, Wait. Keemstar beats his girlfriend? To which the quartering quote tweets and says, That's what I heard. I mean, I don't have any evidence, but hey, I'll just post it here on Twitter. Greg responds to the quartering by saying, Keem should show us his browser history to prove he isn't a pedophile. This is a stupid game. The quartering quote tweets this and says, Good point. I mean, we don't have any evidence he isn't. Maybe I should make the video. Trans conservative waifu responds to the quartering by saying, Okay, look, I understand that Keem is a snake, but please don't be like that to get at him. I know this is a joke, but Keem might take this seriously. It's best to just throw the facts and evidence at him and continue your normal video schedule. No use wasting time on Keem. The quartering quote tweets this and responds, Of course, it's just a joke, pointing out the absurdity of his make up lie then demand I disprove it charge. My video will be up in 10 minutes and that will be the end of it. It's sad these two channels would rather focus on spreading lies and friendly fire. The Quartering then uploads his YouTube video addressing the entire situation, but for convenience sake he does post the important parts of it onto his Twitter and captions it by saying, Okay Keemstar, you asked me to do this and I did. You also told me to be a man and apologize. Now that you've seen it, I would ask you to tweet out said apology. It's the manly thing to do. Alright Keem, since uh, you want me to do this, I'll do it for you and uh, as you say, 
be a man and publicly apologize then. All right, so here we go. Here's mediocre, no history of, re of reporting a single thing. These are all dead channels, but you want to see them. Here's one I've never used. Oh, nothing there. Uh, how about the quartering daily? That's new. How about that? Oops, nothing there. Uh, here's uh, unsleeved media. How about that? Nothing there. All right. How about the quartering? We've already shown that. Nothing there. How about Midwestly? Nothing there. All right, Keemstar. So feel free. If you are the man you're demanding me to be, apologize because you're wrong. And you both, we both know that if there was any reports here, they would be showing here. In fact, even if you click this, it just says some videos may not appear. That's because the video was removed by the creator or is not available on YouTube. I have no idea what is even supposed to be showing here, but if it was a video removed by YouTube, it would still be here. And you know dang well you can't delete your history. So I'll take my apology now if you were really being honest. He captions the second clip by saying, and here's the rest of these random accounts. Again, zero evidence. I shouldn't even have to dignify such a disgusting lie with a response, but as you said, Please now apologize for getting this wrong. And just in case you want, you say I missed any, here's the rest. How about that? Here's marketing sheriff test. No, nothing there. How about, uh, here's my personal. I don't even know what all these accounts are, but again, nothing there. Um, how about the incredible salt mine? Oops, nothing there. I mean, come on, dude. You know dang well I didn't do this. And here you are. Here's another email account. Nothing there. You know I didn't do it. So man up, as you would say, and apologize for spreading a hurtful rumor about me that is literally the worst thing you can say about a YouTuber. Alex responds to the quartering by saying, Man, why are you taking bait like this? Like, it's not worth the time, and you were just making this into content for Keem. Quartering quote tweets this and says, It sucks, but this claim that I would ever strike down channels, instruct anyone else to do it, or endorse it in any way when others do is damaging, and sadly, I have to defend myself here. I did say flag down that cat murder channel for 100% transparency. Alex responds by saying, I mean, I get it, but what do you have to prove to Keemstar? I know he's big and got a following, but so do you. It just seems like you're giving him content and a good laugh. Epim the Oss then responds, Keem has nearly 10 times the audience. If we look at YouTube and Twitter, Jeremy has to defend himself because just by reach alone, this could bury his channel. Imagine Brie Larson told everyone on the news that you groped her, plastered your picture everywhere. You'd speak up. AC Skillies responds to the quartering by saying, Keem will never speak of this again. Watch. To which the quartering responds, Nah. Keemstar is constantly telling other people to be a man. Certainly he will be a man in response to irrefutable evidence he is wrong. I mean, he's not an SJW. Epine the Oz says, Jeremy showed you receipts. So Keemstar, you got the balls to own up to the fact that you fucked us up? failed to do your bloody job, and weren't able to do the bare minimum required of you by researching the most basic details of these claims. The quartering then quote tweets this with a chirping cricket gif. Tommy C responds to this entire thing by saying, while he is 100% correct, please Keemstar, don't give in to his apology demands. He did the same thing to me that you did to him and never apologize. He did this on the Ralph Retort show for defending Kraut a friend. Keemstar then responds to Tommy by saying, Jeremy has reported false stories and never corrects them. He simply can't be trusted. I'm not sure how he thinks he's owed an apology. It's almost impossible to prove if someone flagged a video. The whole system was made to be anonymous. It's simply my beliefs he did it. Keemstar then makes an unrelated tweet that the quartering quote tweets and says, Me waiting on that public apology slash correction from Keem now that his claim I flagged a video is completely debunked. I don't need an apology. I'm good. But for the dude demanding I man up and apologize for something I didn't do, seems like he would want to take his own advice. This message was accompanied by the chirping cricket gif. 
The Quartering then quote tweets Keemstar's original tweet about him yet again by saying, Just a reminder Keemstar, I did as you asked, and this tweet is still up, and you never issued any kind of correction. Come on, be a man. In response to all of this, Keemstar tweeted out, I don't trust anything the Quartering says. Dude is constantly lying, linking a video from commentator D'Angela Wallace where he talked about a tweet that the quartering made where he supposedly defended Hitler. That's an entire other controversy, I haven't looked into it personally, so I don't have an opinion on the validity of that. But it seems like a couple people aren't buying it because Tagos responded to Keem by saying, D'Angelo Wallace? L. Keem then responds, he made a good vid. Ariel responds to Keem's tweet by saying, He proved himself innocent, and regardless, you don't believe him. There's no arguing with people like you. Keem then responds, How did he prove it? He has like 15 channels, and he shows his main flag history. You guys are all clowns. It's just funny. Cracker Jacker responds to Keem by saying, So, to avoid apologizing, you highlight a tweet of his out of context? Can't say I'm surprised. This is what I expect of Keem. Keem then responds, Apologize for what? I believe quartering is responsible for that video going down. I still stand by that, till proven otherwise. Katie responds to Keem by saying, Thank you for exposing this clown, Keem. The quartering has always been cringe. Jordan then responds, So because you don't like him and you think he's cringe, that means you can spread lies about him? I don't like a lot of people, but I don't go spreading lies about them. The Quartering himself responds to this tweet from Keemstar by saying, Dude, you asked me to man up and show receipts, and I did. You, like an SJW, doubled down. You were 100% wrong. What happened to manning up? Ass World's man responds to the Quartering by saying, No balls. Call him Soy Star from now on. Short Fat Otaku replies to him by saying, Never thought I'd see the day Keem would act like this. The Quartering then quote tweets him and says, I knew Keem was an SJW. I am shocked that he would be so willing to publicly confirm it though. Stoned Mexican guy responds to the Quartering by saying, you are the same as him, just another internet guy accusing people of things he does himself. Go crowdfund another lawsuit. The Quartering then quote tweets this one and says, Imagine standing Keem. <laughs> He's fucking dead on this one, homie. The Quartering then responds directly to Keem's tweet, where he linked D'Angelo Wallace's video, and says, Imagine getting so utterly destroyed you tweet out a hilarious SJW who ignores context to try and poison the well. Not very manly of you. Keem then responds, destroyed. Jeremy, you are completely delusional and have lost touch with reality. Maybe you should go start another GoFundMe and scam your stupid ass fans to fund a lawsuit, if you're so confident. The Quartering Quote tweets this and says, Oops, Ethan Van Syver started the GoFundMe for my legal case. You are 40. Learn to take the L or just block me and prove me right. Asian Thoughts responds to Keem's tweet by saying, The sad reality is that his fans will most likely pay. To which Keem responds, Good, I want him to beg again like the time the guy in the dress punched him. The Quartering Quote tweets this and says, I didn't start the GoFundMe, just another lie from newsman Keemstar. You told me to man up, but these cringe replies prove you have zero idea what that means. Yes. Being assaulted by a hero at 3am when my back is turned proves you are not a liar. Oops, I guess the world can see how that turned out for the dude. I won again. Keep replying Keem. This is great. Check the scoreboard on that hero too. Lol. Ask a dude if it was worth it. True American Dad responds to Keem's tweet linking D'Angelo Wallace's video by saying, Pot calling the kettle black. To which Ballas McGee replies, don't forget Keem calling Alex a stupid n-word too. The Quartering Quote tweets this and says, I don't care about past mistakes. I'm not an SJW like Keem. Sure, he called a guy a n-word. Sure, he falsely called a RuneScape streamer a pedophile. Sure, he softballed Onision. None of that affects me. He has to live with that. The Quartering then tweets out, Imagine Keemstar, a multi-millionaire with a channel vastly larger than my own, Picking this hill, an obvious lie, to die on. Why am I still getting hate? Because you were an unprincipled 40 year old pretending to be 18, which is bad enough, but obviously, lies are worse. Keemstar then replies to the quartering by saying, Jeremy is triggered because no one believes him. He mad. He call me 40. He very upset having multi cries on Twitter. The quartering quote tweets this and says, 
Literally everyone believes me. I showed the receipts. You get mad people don't respect you, but you refuse to take this obvious L. We all have him. It says a lot you were willing to triple down on the lie because you don't like someone, Anita. When did you stop beating your girlfriend? Unrelated to the quartering situation, Keemstar tweets out, Keem 0, Bully Hunter 1, showing that zombie unicorn blocked him. The quartering then quote tweets this and says, Jeremy 1, SJW Keem, Zero. Ruckus replies to the quartering by saying, Did he admit he was wrong after you prove you didn't issue any strikes or claims? I saw a clip of you doing that. Didn't think you'd hear anything back. The quartering responds, Nope. Just like an SJW in the face of overwhelming evidence, he was being, he chose to double down. Really sad to see. Dear Keemstar, Take the L man. Literally everyone else has seen the evidence. We don't have to like each other to tell the truth. I didn't take any personal shots in proving my innocence, and easily could have. Time to man up, as you say. I have it in good authority that Keemstar browses truly disgusting porn websites. You know, kitty stuff. Unless he makes a dedicated video showing every PC in his home's browsing history, I will assume it's true. Even then, it's likely a super secret PC he uses. Keem logic. Armored Black Op responds to the quartering by saying, to be fair, that's basically his logic, lol. The quartering then responds, my point. Keemstar responds directly to the quartering by saying, so triggered you've been bullied into making false pedo allegations. It's really getting pathetic now. Jeremy, I know you did it. Just admit it and stop the crying. The quartering quote tweets this and says, they are not false. Unless you take time off your vacation and shoot a dedicated video trying to debunk even then, you are likely hiding it. Armored Black Op responds to Keem by saying, He's not calling you a pedo. He's using it as an example as to no matter how much evidence he gives you, you will still want more or move the goalpost. Shalincher responds to Keem by saying, Keem accuses Jeremy of false flagging. Jeremy puts Keem into his place with receipts. Keem hides with his tail between his legs. Jeremy What's wrong, Keem? How about I make a false allegation against you? Keem continues eating glue. Keem then quote tweets the quartering and says, He's so mad that I think he flagged 8 Thoughts video. He's making false pedo allegations. This guy is not mentally stable. <laughs> Why the F is he making 100 tweets and videos claiming he didn't flag 8 Thoughts? Bit of a overreaction to something that can't be proved. The quartering quote tweets this and says, Cringe. The quartering continues to talk about this by saying, I hate this. I don't want to drag Keemstar for all his faults. I do think he is a net positive, but when he comes at me with lies, what am I supposed to do? Please dude, just delete the tweet and correct it with your new information. I'm not looking to battle. The quartering then retweets a tweet from Nicholas Diorio, where he shows a tweet and a DM from Keemstar and captions it by saying, to catch a hypocrite. The first tweet shown is the one I read earlier saying that the quartering got triggered into making false pedo allegations. And then the next one is a DM from Keemstar that says, there's actually a reason why I asked him that. Nobody knows who Just Destiny is. For all we know, he could be a registered sex offender. How would you know? He filed false legal documents to shut down a video of a 15 year old poking fun at him calling him a pedo. Why? Why would he do that? Does he touch kids? This is in reference to a different situation with Keemstar. I have a video on it, I will link it in the description below. Moving on, the quartering continues to talk about Keem by tweeting out, Regardless of what Keem says, I would still defend this guy to the death should he be faced with what I am. Living a principled life is hard at first, but ultimately is actually super easy. The quartering then goes on to retweet another one of Nicholas Diorio's tweets, this time showing an image of the Neo Keem star cycle that starts with making an unsubstantiated claim. If the claim is valid, he profits. If the claim is false, he pivots. And in both cases, he does not back down. Repeat. Nick also says, I bet Keemstar flagged 8 thoughts. I based that off the same amount of evidence Keem had at the time. So, none. The quartering quote tweets this and says, I would actually believe dude flagged himself, for weird clout. Keemstar's next tweet about the situation was deleted, so I only have this screenshot where some of it was cut off, 
but we do have the majority of the tweet here, so I might as well read out what we have. He says, You logged into five channels or so to prove you did not flag eight thoughts. However, as you well know, this doesn't prove you didn't do it, and there's absolutely no way to prove that you did do it, because you could have other channels that we don't know about. I still think you did it. I assume he ends off that tweet by saying, Jeremy. There's also another deleted tweet of Keemstar saying, These brain dead quartering fans are trying to claim I can't have an opinion on if he's guilty or not unless I have proof? What? Whatever weird rules you were making to govern this world, just know that I am not following any of them. I think he's guilty. The quartering responds to this by saying, I 100% respect your right to an opinion. Thing is, I proved myself in spite of no need to do so. All I ask is you report the truth. Katie Urin Sky responds to Keem by saying, You're a news channel. Where is your proof? Keem then replies, Am I not allowed to have an opinion that I think he did it? Clearly, I can and have. Whatever rules you are creating for this world we live in, just know that I'm not following them. The quartering quote tweets this and says, Keem is allowed to have his opinion, but I hope you evidence I provided shows him the light. During this whole situation, Keem is getting pretty much no support, but he does have a couple people who agree with him. One of which being JT, who ended up having one like on his tweet. And he responded to Keem by saying, what the fuck, and showing that somebody else said that the quartering won and Keem should take an L. Since this is one of the only people supporting Keem Star at this time, despite the one like, Keem ended up responding to it by saying, they are slow. Linty Juggler responds to Keem by saying, Innocent until proven guilty? No? That's cool. The court of public opinion is the judge here. Childish smear campaigns be childish. Must be slow in the drama circles. Or just tired of reporting on the same handful of people all the time. Weirder Reese's response to Linty by saying, I said this earlier and Keemstar is now saying it was his opinion, even though he didn't state that in the original tweet that started all this. Keemstar then responds, what did I state? To which Reese's replies, with the original tweet Keem made towards the quartering, and says, where and there does it say, this is my opinion? It sounds pretty accusatory to me. Keemstar then responds, yeah, yo are slow, all good, most his fans are. You can't even grasp the concept of seven YouTube channels, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All small brain people. Rawl responds to Keem's deleted tweet by saying, Watch Keem make up stories for his drama alert. Anything to stay relevant. Keem then responds, Yes, quartering will keep me relevant. None of you people are linked up with the reality. The quartering quote tweets this and says, Obviously, Keem won't gain subs by creating drama with my name. I am irrelevant. I just wish he would acknowledge the facts. Tombstone responds to Keem by saying, Lying about what someone did when they showed obvious proof is a very dangerous game. Keemstar then replies, Please explain to me how you can show proof. You can't. It could be any channel of his we don't know about. And don't worry, you are not the only dumb one. There's many of you dumb fuckers out there that are just won't use your brain. Quartering quote tweets this and says, I showed live every single YouTube account and there were zero strikes claimed. Stop fighting your ally, man. Gene Matt responds to Keem by saying, So guilty until proven innocent? How righteous. Keemstar then replies, You are not allowed to play this game. Showing a picture of the board game Clue. The quartering response to Keem's deleted tweet by saying, I don't have a choice. You have millions of followers. And all I want is the truth exposed. Keemstar then responds, I still think you did it. Keemstar then breaks his own self-proclaimed rule of never leaking DMs under any circumstances when he leaks DMs between him and the quartering with the caption, He's like falling apart over this. He wants me to say there's no proof of him flagging eight dots. Fine. No proof. But just like anyone, flagging it's an anonymous system and there's no way to prove it guilty or non-guilty. It's just my opinion. He gave me permission to show DM. These DMs start with the quartering saying, hate me all you want, but please take a moment and know I would never do that. I really don't give a fuck about winning, but being accused of false flagging is seriously fucked. Keemstar replies to him by saying, okay, let's say you did do it. How could anyone prove it? They can't. Be real, Jeremy. The quartering then responds, True, but I respect you, and I'm telling you I didn't. Nor is there any shred of evidence. Don't be like this man. We are mostly on the same team. The quartering responds to Keem's DM leak by saying, I did say he could tweet our DMs. I have no interest in trying to bury him. But also, 
I did more than anyone who was falsely accused. Yeah, I'm a pussy. It mattered to me the integrity of my brand. Sid Alpha quote tweets the quartering and says, Keemstar should find the nearest plant, get down on all fours in front of it, and beg for its forgiveness for wasting the oxygen that it worked so fucking hard to create. Toad McKinley responds to Keem by saying, The quartering is a spurg, but he's not being unreasonable and not wanting to be labeled a false flagger. Dudes actually helped a shitload of people with that kind of stuff. That's why I defended him on the part of the 8 Thoughts drama where he wasn't threatening a lawsuit. Devin responds to Keem by saying, Okay Keem, I'ma have to take his side on this one. He seems like he's being legit and wants to be unaccused. Tommy Berkey responds to Keemstar by saying, Keem, give the guy a break. Believe what you want to believe, but this doesn't make it right to throw him under the bus to many of your impressionable fans because you believe something to be true without any concrete proof. Keemstar then replies, You cannot go to create imaginary rules that Keemstar is not allowed to have an opinion based on whether or not someone is guilty of something unless I have 1000% proof. Because even if you create these rules, I'm not going to follow them. Danny then responds, Having an opinion and falsely accusing are two different things. Keemstar then replies, Prove that it's a false claim? You can't. Keemstar then tweets out, They move the field goal saying my opinion is an accusation. And then they say, I'm moving the field goal. Based on this manipulation, I have concluded that the quartering flagged 8 thoughts. And that's my final verdict. I have more followers, so I win. Show me the tears. Sauce Boss responds to Keem by saying, You stated as a matter of fact that he flagged people. That's not an opinion. Keemstar then responds, Fact based on what? Tom Berkey responds, Yep, you definitely win Keem. We are all shedding some mighty salty tears on your behalf. Bragging about your follower count is the ultimate red herring. Congrats. Keemstar then responds, I have more followers. I win. The quartering then quote tweets this and says, It's true, you do, by a wide margin. Which is the only reason I had to dignify you lies with a response. You then tweeted out our DMs, which after a few minutes you realized made you look even worse. I will still defend you, Keem, when it comes to false flag, but come on. Keemstar then replies, I'm saying this as a meme. No one with an actual brain would bother trying to respond to this, but you do. All you do. You all do? How? You flagged 8 thoughts. I'm sure of it. Look how you were all acting. The quartering quote tweets this and says, Evidence please? LJ Smith responds to Keemstar by saying, He literally showed proof he didn't. Keemstar then quote tweets him and says, You cannot prove you did not flag someone on YouTube. Because even if you show flag history on 5 channels you own, doesn't mean you didn't flag on the 6th channel you are not showing. This is all very simple logic that's not understood because of low IQ fanbase you are a part of. Man in Black then replies to Keem by saying, If it cannot be proven, how can it be disproven? Keem then replies, It can't. It's always going to be an opinion. The quartering continues to talk about this by saying, Imagine thinking as a gigantic YouTuber, knowingly spreading a lie about another YouTuber, one of the most vile, unforgivable lies possible, is just a meme. Keemstar tweets out, Jeremy is accusing me of beating my girlfriend in DMs. Lol. I can't. Night night. The quartering quote tweets this and says, Wrong. I used your blatant lies against you. You tweeted out a verifiably false lie about me. So I use the perfect example of, when did you stop beating your girlfriend example. You think this is an own? Yikes. Prove you didn't. I heard you did. Keem is really going to regret tweeting out all this self own cringe tonight. He has already deleted tweets. And that's just now. I would be surprised if they are all there tomorrow. ORSSG then tweets at the quartering, I heard that Keemstar personally knew Jeffrey Epstein. The quartering then quote tweets that and says, I heard that too. It's been an amazing string of W's today. Much love, and seriously appreciate you all. Night all. Keemstar then tweets out, Yeah, at the end of the day, no one will probably ever know if the quartering flagged 8 thoughts or not. There's no way to prove he did it, and no way to prove he didn't do it. 8 Thoughts made negative vids on everyone, and only the quartering got flagged down. He's basically in tears over this claiming he's innocent. I've never seen him this bent out of shape. I thought about making a video, but what's the point? There's no proof, so I'm just going to drop it for now. They seem to think because I have millions of followers, I'm not allowed to think someone is guilty without proof? Dumb, right? Lol. So I was just making jokes. 
saying that I clearly win because I have more followers. And then they manipulated that into actual statements. Derpy. The quartering quote tweets this thread from Keemstar and says, I lost. Badly. So I guess I will drop it, even though I'm still right. Some apology. Ridiculous reacts to Keem's tweet by saying, Breaking. I have it on good authority that Keemstar flagged 8 Thoughts videos in order to drum up drama for his channel to cover. The quartering quote tweets this and says, I mean, we will never be able to prove it didn't happen by Keemstar logic, so that means it 100% did. Mimalji101 chimes in on the situation by saying, The drama that happened between 8 Thoughts vs. The Quartering, or The Quartering vs. Keemstar, is the most useless drama ever. They should be focusing their efforts in exposing the real trash, not amongst themselves. Wasted energy. The Quartering responds to this by saying, in my defense, I am allowed to defend myself. They both spread a very damaging rumor about me, and I had no choice but to defend myself. 8 Thoughts quote tweets Mimology's tweet and says, The quartering is trash though. Support his Patreon to pay his editors and put gas in his wife's plane. I'd also like to make videos, but you know, I'm banned from YouTube because someone flagged my video and got me a strike. So I lost out on about $1,000 of lost revenue for the week. So you know, it kinda matters. The quartering then quote tweets Mimology's tweet and says, I 100% agree, but as the one who was forced to defend themselves, it feels a little shitty to be lumped in and viewed as an equal bad actor. I was minding my own business. And that is finally all of the tweets between the quartering and Keemstar that happened that night. Both of these YouTubers are notorious for spam tweeting on Twitter when they are upset, so despite this issue being relatively cut and dry, there were a lot of tweets to go through, but I hope you enjoyed this video regardless of the redundancy. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to see more content like this, but hopefully not as long and redundant. Also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with all of this as it happens. Thank you so much to my channel members for supporting the channel, especially Josh Pescator who has donated $30 a month. He has a pretty cool news channel if you'd like to check that out. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in another video.